So I have had a few people ask me how I curl my hair. So I just thought I'd film it because, you know, it's the middle of the day, I've got a bit of time, got makeup on, so here we go. So I've just washed my hair using Herbal Essence. I have dry skin, which means I have dry scalp, which means yes, I am prone to dandruff. And because I have dark hair, dandruff shows. So at the moment I'm using Herbal Essences. Herbal. Herbal essence. Essences? Essence. Herbal essence. Essences. Anyway, um, just shampooed it once, conditioned once. Um, I'm then going to use a little bit of this. I don't have any heat protection spray at the moment, but this is Coco Loco, Coco Loco Genius Lotion for Stress Free Drying. It's just like a coconut lotion. So just put a tiny bit on. Rub it into my hands, and then rub it into the tips. So I just rub that in my hands, through my hair, and then I'm just going to give it a rough blow dry now, so I'll probably like time lapse this. Um, my hair takes a while to dry, there is, as you can see, a heck of a lot of it. Even though I just got a cut, there is still loads. So this might take a little while, but I'll kind of roughly dry it and then part it and dry it. Because if I don't part it, then it dries in like a weird way. I mean, these bits are always already starting to dry and they like go skew it. So. So just giving it a quick blast and then take my paddle brush and just part it right in the middle. So as you can see I have just parted it in the middle with my paddle brush and then I blow dry the rest of it this way so it's like probably about 20 to 30 percent dry at the moment and then I will just keep going like this until it's fully dry and then I will go in with my curler. So my hair is now, I'd say fully dry, maybe 95%, probably like a little bit, but it's not. Um, it does just go kind of puffy when I blow dry it. I used to never ever blow dry my hair. Um, like when I was in school, I used to just wash it and let it dry overnight, but you don't quite get the same shape. Um, I will turn on my curlers now. So this is the Remington Model CI9539. I don't know, it was Remington something. I bought this years ago. Anyway, it does the job. Um, I put my temperature to 210 and um, just because I have such thick hair I can take the stronger temperature but I know a lot of people wouldn't be able to cope with that temperature on their hair so if you use this or one similar then just check your own boundaries <laughs> with it. So in the meantime whilst my curler is heating up I'm just going to section my hair off so I'll take like a large chunk and just leave the under layer hanging beneath um, and then I will slowly incrementally drop it down and work on different layers. So as you can see I just have this bottom layer which I will just brush through and the majority of the weight is sitting up in this clip. Um, I just have so much hair that I have to layer it all otherwise it doesn't curl and these bits just get left behind. So. My curler should be ready and I will start curling. We'll maybe talk you through like one or two bits and then time lapse it. So very simple, I take like a little like one inch bit and I just turn it away from my face, hold it down into quite tight, hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then after that time, 
I just let it drop into my hand. I kind of just pull that through so I hold the curl and just let it sit for a second. So, ooh, look at that ring. So again, just curling away from my face. Hold. Hold quite tight, like pull it at the bottom. And drop and pull. Okay, so I'll put you in time lapse now so you can see the rest of it. So that is the two bottom bits done and as I was sitting there pondering life, I was like, why did I say Herbal Essence? I don't use Herbal Essence or Herbal Essences. I use Head and Shoulders. So, um, correction, don't know why I was thinking Herbal Essence. Both start with H, I guess, but I use Head and Shoulders. No shame in the game. So, I'm very much at the Irish Dancer ringlet stage. I know this is not the final outcome. Although I did used to wear my hair like this, but that was a long time ago. So let's move on from there. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna let that all sit for a second. I don't wanna brush it out too soon, otherwise it might drop quicker than I'd like. Um, so I will just leave it sitting for a little bit and then take my paddle brush and just brush it through and then add a little hairspray. So I'll be back in a minute. I was just laughing at myself because I've been sitting cross-legged for quite a while. So when I stood up, my leg was very dead and I was hobbling and I was concerned that I would fall and hit my hand again, but we're good. I was just getting the hairspray from my mum's room. Um, so this is the Wella or Vella Silver, Silver Crin, there it is. Um, I don't always use hairspray, but I thought I'd be a bit extra. So I'm literally just taking that same paddle brush and I'm just gonna brush through, not too much, but just to loosen all these curls up. So that is the curls just brushed through. As you can see, it just like makes them bigger. It's like Hollywood glam. So I'm just going to take that hairspray and spray it through just to hold this. Um, I find sometimes if I spray before then it gets a bit sticky for when I want to brush through. So. And that is my little hair tutorial. Big hair tutorial because I have so much hair but there you go. Pretty easy, cheap, everything was like, I think those curlers were like 20 points when I got them a few years ago, so who knows how cheap they are now. Um, yeah, and then this will last me a few days, I'll probably touch it up a few times with me running. I'll probably have to use a little bit of dry shampoo in the in-between days, but a good curl will get me through about three to four days. Pushing five if I put it up on the last day, but I'd say we're going for a three or four here. So there we go. That is the final outcome and it will probably drop and because I'm going to be sleeping on it tonight, I'll probably have to touch it up tomorrow, but anyway, that will do.